Hey guys, welcome to the video. It's 329. Headed over to Dave Vulture BMW. I need to be there by 4 to drop this thing off. Feels like just the other day I was doing this again. I really hope they can figure out what is wrong. Uh, it was obviously not that sensor. I don't think they're going to charge a whole lot more. Uh, probably parts. I don't expect labor charges. Uh, but we don't know until they call tomorrow with what they found. But it's typical Seattle here. Uh, 47 off and on rain all day. Um, it's 15 degrees over average, or 12 degrees over average for this time of the year. And usually I would not be complaining about that, but hell, if I'm going to be in Ohio in December, I want some snow, all right? I'm just pissed because we should have snow. We did, but as you can see, it is uh, all gone. All right, so a couple days ago, probably now a couple weeks ago, I talked about how we'd have an abortion debate. Well, stay tuned. Uh, if you don't want to listen to it, skip ahead in the video until I'm not sitting here in the car talking to you. Uh, if you'd like to listen to it, then hi, let's talk about abortion. Um, I am what you would call pro-choice. There's pretty much two stances you can have. You're either pro-life, which means you never abort or kill the fetus of uh, a baby growing in the womb of a female. Uh, if that female decides she doesn't want the baby, it was an accident, you can have it aborted or killed and removed. Um, I am in support of letting the female decide. It's her baby, it's going to be possibly entirely her responsibility, depending on the um, conditions and circumstances with the father, if such a father exists. Usually in a lot of these cases there's no dad, no father, no responsible father. Um, and the mom just doesn't want to have to raise and, and pay for the thing or she's too young. Now, having said that I'm pro-choice, um, I think that there is a, a fine line. You can't wait until you've been pregnant for eight months and then decide that you're going to kill this thing. I think as soon as you find out, you should have like 30 days. As soon as you know you're pregnant, which, come on, don't you know you're pregnant? I'm not a woman, I don't know. and I don't want to know, but... Uh, you should be able to know within some amount of time and then make a decision. If you want to do it, good. Do it. Get it over with. If you don't, then you're going to keep that baby. You make the decision. Uh, ooh, big pothole. Just missed it. But uh, So that's kind of my stance. Leave your comments with your thoughts below. Of course, it's completely up to you. Don't try to argue with me. If you'd like to agree with me, then thanks. We share something. We have something in common. If you disagree, that's fine too. I do not think abortion should be a political debate. Um, but then again, I think pro-choice should be like a, some sort of a federal law. And that's completely my prerogative with that, but uh, let me know. And I'm sure if it ever did get into a court system, it would be so hard for people to agree and vote and ultimately agree on a time period of when it's okay to have it aborted and when it's not okay. I don't know enough about it to say what trimester, how many weeks, how many months, I don't know enough about it. Um, I don't like to talk about things I don't know, but I do know about enough about the actual um, debate of abortion, just not the specifics as in how many months. Like, when is, what is a baby? When is the thing alive? Right at conception, at birth, it, people have completely different definitions of when something is alive and when you are murdering or killing uh, a child. And I think that's the big thing in religion is uh, you don't kill people. You don't kill people you don't know. But seriously, you don't kill people. And I agree with that. But there's a line when you're going to do more good getting rid of that baby and saving it from coming into a world that, one, it's not wanted. Let's face it, it is not wanted. Two, uh, it may not be taken care of correctly. It will not be brought up right. It may not have food and necessities and love. and It's just dicked. So, pro-choice. All right, sorry that was kind of long, but I just thought I'd spout my two cents about it. There we go, next exit as we come over the big bridge for the big city of Akron. I don't know if you can see, that's the Y bridge over there. That's where everybody in Akron commits suicide. Uh, but uh, this was all cut out by the uh, the glaciers that came through here, you know, back in the 60s. Right, because that's when the glaciers came through Ohio. Better look at the Y bridge over here. It's called the Y bridge because, oh, guess what? It looks like a Y. It splits out over there and you can get on. It's 261 North Broadway Street here in Akron. And uh, there's one end of it, and then the other end, shifting gears, is here. This is where you get off and head over to Canal Park. Big new apartments. Ah, 
Yeah, it's right there. Come on. Really? I was almost there. I almost made it. Friggin' hell. Oh, but look at it. It's beautiful. Wow, that is beautiful. Well, there goes the ride, and here's what I'm at home to. Uh, dropped it off, told the guy everything and stuff, and uh, they're going to diagnose the issue tomorrow. They're going to let me know tomorrow after 2. I gave them my phone number, told them to call me after 2, so we'll hear from them tomorrow afternoon. Um, hopefully, if they need parts, usually they get stuff in two days unless it comes from Germany, which the last part did, and then it takes about five to seven days. Uh, but if they order something tomorrow, it'll be there Thursday. They'll put it in Thursday or Friday, and I would have it back Friday. If they come up with something that I don't want to do, then I'll just go get it tomorrow. So I'll either have it tomorrow or Friday, pretty much. Possibly Wednesday or Thursday. But I don't know why you, why I'm telling you. You don't care. So I'll talk to you later. Anyways, it's 4.37. I'm going to grab something to eat. Do the emails. I just tweeted this. Um, where's my iPhone? Right in my pocket. We'll see if the badge can uh, show you. If you can't read it, it's 873. Well, I have been quite the busy bee. I just made a nine minute MacBook Pro review. I had a couple users request that a while ago just to talk about how I like the form factor and stuff. I actually made a separate video on the form factor itself, but I did need to get kind of a light. I didn't go real in depth. It's not brand new. It's not exciting technology in the, in the comparison of all the new stuff maybe. Uh, but I did get that. Uh, it's exporting now. I also did the video um, talking about the uh, scores of the MacBook Pro, Geekbench and Cinebench for processor graphics, RAM, and stuff like that. Uh, so I'm hoping to get both those videos up today. No guarantees. The 10 minute 720p one, I have no idea how big that's going to be or how long it's going to take to export. Actually, I do. I just don't know the numbers exactly. So uh, we'll see where that goes, and maybe we'll get both up today or one tomorrow, and then I won't have to do anything else on the channel until Wednesday. Okay, it's 11 o'clock. Got kind of a long video here, so I'm just going to go ahead and end this now. Uh, tomorrow's Tuesday. Two more days at school this week. Won't be too bad. We'll get her done. And um, I'll probably talk to you tomorrow afternoon at some point. So, good night, guys. Thanks for watching.